The Winter Olympics of 2014 are to be held in Sochi, Russia. Athletes from all over the world come to compete for the gold and represent their nations in different events, one of which includes short track speed skating. Short track speed skating is one of the many forms of speed skating. There are usually four to six skaters competing at once. It was implemented in the Olympic Games in 1988. There are different lengths that the skaters can compete in, including the 500 meter, 1000 meter, 1500 meter, and 3000 meter. Proper attire in speed skating is essential to the sport. Athletes wear gloves, goggles, helmets, guards, skates, and a suit. Gloves protect skaters' hands from blades. Goggles protect eyes from ice chips. Helmets prevent head injuries in case of collisions. Guards protect knees, shins, and the throat. The skates are constructed from customized foot molds, and they lace a bit higher than the ankle, made out of heavy materials to ensure stability. Blades are sharp to grip the ice around turns, bent like an arc, and are placed off-center so the boot doesn't touch the ice while the skater leans. The suit is skin-tight, molding to the body to reduce air resistance. There are many physics principles present in speed skating, including centripetal acceleration, center of gravity, and air resistance and drag. Centripetal acceleration is the centrally directed acceleration of an object, and in this case a person, due to its circular motion. An object moving in uniform circular motion constantly accelerates because its direction and velocity constantly change. Centripetal acceleration is a very important part of speed skating. It explains why the skaters lean and accelerate around the turns without skating. They ride the turns using the acceleration they gained on the straights. Center of gravity is the force of gravity that effectively acts at a single point of an object, and in this case, it's the skater. Center of gravity becomes very important when dealing with torque and equilibrium. A low center of gravity allows the skater to be more aerodynamic and helps maintain balance. For example, in the following clip, if the man were to be standing up while performing this exercise, he would likely fall and it would be much more difficult. He does well because of his low center of gravity. Air resistance is a force that opposes motion in air. When moving through air, you collide with molecules that make up the atmosphere. This is why skaters wear skin-tight suits. They are designed to decrease air resistance and drag and improve the skater's times. The rules for short track speed skating are very cut out and clear. The following will get you disqualified. Pushing, blocking, or tripping. Skating outside of the designated track area. Giving physical assistance to another skater. Shooting the line or a false start. Lack of proper equipment and unsportsmanlike conduct. In the past, the most notable athlete in United States short track speed skating has been Apollo Ono, but this year some notable members of the team include Chris Kreveling, J.R. Selsky, and Kyle Carr.